right, me babbers, Bristoli and Dave here again for, I'll let you guess, another media collection update. So today I've got a stack of Blu-rays uh, that I want to show you guys that I've added to my collection. Um, now, I've got them from a few different places. Basically, I've got, oh no, actually only two different places. So first lot from Poundland. Uh which is a shop here. It's not what you think it is. It's actually like a pound is in a pound sterling land. Not the other type of pound land. We don't go there for Blu-rays. Um, the rest is all from a charity shop. A couple of different charity shops. So I'm just going to dive straight in. Uh, so the first title we got here from the pound, from Poundland is In the Electric Mist. Uh, with Tommy Lee Jones. Now, Tommy Lee Jones, I loved. I recently watched him in uh, The Homesman, which I thought was really good. Um, but yeah, I've never actually seen The Electric Mist, which is strange because it's got John Goodwin in as well. There we go. Well, I get that a watch. Uh, next up, we have 44 inch chest. Again, another decent looking movie. Pretty decent cast. Uh, we have War Dogs. And that's with Jonah Hill before he got skinny. Um, and Miles Teller, who is a decent actor. Shouldn't have been Mr. Fantastic, but he's a decent actor. Um, then we have a United Kingdom. I don't know. I live there. Could be a good movie, I guess. Uh, then we have a little chick flick. Confessions of a Shopaholic. Never seen it. I like chick flick every now and again, which is why I picked up the backup plan as well. And I mean, Jennifer Lopez just. It's J Lo, man. Come on. Uh, and then the final Poundland title was The Kill List. Now, so the next lot are from the charity shops. Um, some of them still have their prices on, so I know how much they were. Some of them don't. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, the first time here is The Eye with Jessica Alba. It was creepy. I don't like anything to do with like stuff touching your eye. So that's kind of, that sets me off a little. Um, we have a movie here, which I'll be watching at Christmas. Not because I don't know if it's actually a Christmas movie, but it's got ice and snow and shit in it. And Penguins, and that is uh, Mr. Popper's Penguin. So I'll give that a watch with my Christmas movies. Next movie, um... To be honest, I like this. A lot of people thought it was terrible. I, I quite enjoy it. And I do like the man, the myth, the legend, Nicolas Cage. Um, and that is The Knowing. I did actually really enjoy this movie. Um, yeah, it's not for everyone. When we have an animated movie. Uh, I paid a pound for this, apparently. Uh, and that is The Box Trolls. Never seen it. But the animation style, you know, that kind of style grows on you. I didn't like it at first when it was first arriving on the scene, but now I'm kind of used to it, and it, yeah, it's all right. Um, this one, I can't believe I didn't own already. Um, it's annoying it doesn't have the slip cover because the slip cover is really cool, but I won't get into slip covers because that's a whole different conversation. Um, but yeah, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Again, I, I loved both of those with Ron Perlman. Um, I did enjoy the, the, remake reboot the latest one um with what's his face at stranger things i thought it was good not a lot of people agree with me um and then next up brand new factory sealed um still got his price sticker on from hmv which i did definitely didn't pay that price um that is peaky blinder season one and two now i'm up to date on this series because i watch it on the bbc as it comes on but if you haven't watched peaky blinders yet give it a watch as soon as it's so good i like just everything in it and C cillian murphy it's just fantastic and it's got sam neill in it and tom hardy so give it a watch next up um i don't know why i bought this it was cheap um i already own the movie but i got it literally because it's a different version and um, that's paul it's got Triple play edition. It's got two cuts on there. So you've got the original theatrical and the extended edition. Um, 
but this is what drew me to it the fact that it was a hmv exclusive and it has the art cards and the art cards are still in there um so i now have two copies of this movie life of a collector slash hoarder i guess i don't the next two um they were two pound each and that is season one and season two of da vinci's demons now i've not seen it um i've heard good things you know uh, i thought for two pound each for blu-ray seasons you can't really go wrong in that um some of you might tell me i can but you know um and then the final movie is set up. Um, now, this is where Bruce Willis is now doing, unfortunately, everything and anything that comes his way, almost. Um, he's got 50 Cent in as well. I mean, it could be good. I don't know. Give it a shot. Um, the final thing I picked up was an absolute bargain. Um, it's brand new factory seal. And it only cost 49p. 49 pence. Uh, and that is the first season of The Strain. Now, I've been wanting to watch this for a while. Um, I haven't seen it, clearly, uh, which is why I want to watch it for a while. And, I mean, just, just look at that. Again, what is it with these eye things? I don't like shit touching my eyes, but I keep picking up stuff with shit touching people's eyes. Or that time, burrowing into someone's eye. Um, yeah, it just looks really cool. So, at some point, I get that a watch. I've got to try and find the other seasons. The chances of finding them at that sort of price, slim to none. But you never know. Um, so, that is everything today, guys. That's all the Blu-rays I picked up to add to my collection. Now, if you want to leave a comment and talk about any of these titles, feel free. Or anything you want to see from me in the future, I appreciate it. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. After you've hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed. Dingle my bell. Careful. And that way you'll never miss your fix of Bristolian Dave. So that is all. I've got nothing left to say. Except I will see you next time.